In today's video, I'll show you how you can create a new OneNote notebook and back up your old one. I'll be doing this on the 2016 desktop version of OneNote. So if you're using a different version, these steps may not apply. So when I used to use physical planners like the Franklin Covey system and Filofax, the act of replacing the old content with new blank inserts for the new year was very therapeutic and exciting. It would motivate me to plan, set new goals, and I'd be eager to fill in the blank pages. Even though most of my planning and note-taking has moved to a digital platform, there's still value in going through this ritual of cleansing and starting new. So today's video is all about starting new with OneNote. This tutorial is broken into three sections. Why you should back up and close your old notebooks, how to back up your notebook to an external drive, and how to create a new notebook and add back the active notes from the old notebook. When we have a physical notebook, we eventually run out of pages and it forces us to replace it with new. But with digital notebooks like OneNote, a single notebook can theoretically grow infinitely, only constrained by the size of our hard drive disk space. And if we leave our notebook to grow unchecked, it can cause some issues. For one, it becomes difficult and slow to find our notes. Naturally, if we have to scan through more notes, the search will take longer. Second, our OneNote notebook can take up a significant portion of our valuable hard drive space. It takes up space in three ways. One for the notebook itself, unless we have it saved to the cloud in OneDrive or SharePoint, one for the backup, and one for the cache. Many PCs now use smaller SSDs versus the spinning hard disks, and it's common to find PCs that only have 500 or even 250 gig gigabytes of disk space. So having a large notebook can have a big impact on our storage. And I've even read reports of the cache files getting corrupt if left unchecked to grow too large. So how do we fix this? Let's start by creating a new backup and saving it to an external drive. We have our main notebook opened here. Click on the file tab for the backstage view then select Options. From here, select Save and Backup. We can see where our backup is currently being saved to. Make a note of this location as we'll come back to it later. Make sure the backup folder is selected, then hit Modify. Navigate to a folder in an external drive. Let's create a new folder and give it a descriptive name. And hit select. Then hit OK. We get a message indicating that the change in setting will take place once we restart OneNote. So let's do that now. Close OneNote, then fire it up again. Let's go back to the backup setting by going to File, Options, Save, and Backup. Confirm that the backup location has been updated. Then select Backup All Notebooks Now. We're essentially creating a new backup to the external drive. Depending on the size of the notebook, this backup process can take a while to complete. We have an error message indicating that some of the sections were not backed up since they weren't fully synced. To force the syncing, it suggests we click on each tab to view it. What we could have done before we created the backup was to actually force sync the notebook. We can do that by going to File, Info, View Sync Status, then selecting Sync All. Now let's navigate to the external drive to ensure the backup has been created. We see several files and folders. Each file represents a section of the notebook, and each folder represents a section group. Double-click on any file to open that section, and scan to see if all your notes are there. If you're satisfied that all of your notes have been properly backed up to the external drive, we can proceed to the next steps. 
Select the original notebook from OneNote, right click on it, then select Close this notebook. Remember earlier that I asked you to note the original backup location in the local drive. In most cases, it'll be this location that you see on the screen. Let's navigate to it. If you right click on the folder and select properties, we can see the file size. My backup file size is over five gigabytes. Let's delete it. We can leave the cache folder alone. Once we close the notebook, it'll automatically delete unnecessary data and reduce in size. As you can see, mine is only 73 megabytes. Remember, we created a new backup and an external drive, so anytime you want to retrieve notes from the backup, just navigate to it and open the appropriate section. Since I only had one notebook and I closed it, when I relaunch OneNote, it shows that I have no notebooks open. Click on this triangle dropdown and select Add Notebook. Since I want the notebook to live on the cloud, I'm going to select OneDrive. Then I can choose the folder within my OneDrive account where I want to save this new notebook to. Then I'll give it a name and hit Create. I don't want to share this notebook, so I'll select Not Now. Now we have a blank notebook that we can organize with different sections and add no pages to. I have a video on organizing OneNote notebook, so be sure to check that out if you're interested. For now, I want to add back in one active project section from the backup file. Let's navigate to the backup folder we created in the external drive. Within the project section group, I had a section for digital printing. Let's double click to open. Right click on the section tab and select move or copy. Select the new notebook we just created, then hit copy. If we now move back to the main notebook, we see that this project section has been added. And that's it for this video. We covered how we can back up our old notebook to an external drive and create a new notebook. I recommend you do this at least once a year to keep your notebook fresh and up to date. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And if you like contents like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks and bye for now.